Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at Sentinel Dark Style. He is part of the Legendary series from Jazzwares. I got this figure from Walmart for $19.97. We'll flip around, take a peek at the back of the box, and up here it says Sentinel. A new era rises. Down here we've got the cross sale, and I'm still t looking for Brutus and Vendetta. I have heard Brutus is available in the UK, but he's not available stateside yet. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Let's get this figure out of the box. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Sentinel is a legendary skin, and he's part of the Battle Dynamics set. Released in Chapter 1 Season 9, this skin was part of the Battle Pass at Tier 1. The dark style of this figure was unlocked at Tier 98. Sentinel comes with a Bunker Basher harvesting tool, it's a big metal beam on the end of what seems to be a rather thin, small stick. Surprised it doesn't just break it right off. We'll flip it to the end and there is the smiley face. That's pretty cool. Next we get the hot wings and they do rotate back and forth. This is the dark style compared to the regular style. Still got the yellow wing tips and silver and some dark pieces. Ah, this is pretty cool, I like it. We get a Storm Flip bottle. It's got a thumb hole in the back here. Then we get a Rift to Go. I like to call it the Fortnite Snow Globe, or the Rift Snow Globe, but anyway. Flip it to the bottom. There is a spot right there for the fingers to poke up into to hold onto this item. Then we get a Tactical Shotgun. I like this. I, I just like the look of this thing silver and gray and a little bit of red and a tiny bit of a gold yellow it's a very good weapon a compact submachine gun we've seen these before and then finally the last item is a scoped revolver and i have to say that this is the only accessory that's not true he can hold the bottle and the snow globe <laughs> yeah this is the only weapon that he can hold successfully and i like the look of this i think this is a cool looking weapon Sentinel stands about 6 inches tall, looks about this high compared to other Fortnite action figures. And as you can see, he is right in there along the same lines. We'll set them off to the side. We'll bring in his prior version, and you'll notice that he is just a little bit shorter. That's because the version 1 Sentinel has this like red mohawk metal piece up there. He has 34 points of articulation, and we'll take a look at those now. His head rotates all the way around. If you want him to look down, well, he can actually surprisingly look down pretty good. If you want him to look up, well, that's about the extent of looking up. He's got a torso wiggle, but it's a very low torso. It's so low that if the waist gets a little bit off, and this waist is a little bit off, you can't really rotate the waist without getting something in there to hold on to it. The waist is kind of a pointless piece, if you ask me, compared to how low this torso is. His arms do rotate around at the shoulders. However, that's as far up as they go. The left is hindered by this big piece of metal on the shoulder. And the right, well, there's it's also kind of hindered. Because of the hindrance on the left side, you cannot rotate the bicep around. The right side rotates freely just fine. He's got double pin at the elbow and can get them about that angle right there. There's a rotation and a hinge at the wrist, but like Black Knight, this figure, I'm going to have to warm it up. The, the wrist won't uh, hinge properly. If you, well, if, if you want him to do the splits, well, because of these pieces that hang down that do not rotate off of his hips, that's about as far as he can go. If you want him to, he can lean his legs back about that far. And if you want him to sit, well, that, that's about where you're going to get him. He's not, this figure is not real articulate. I mean, he's fully articulated, but there's enough hindrance in here. The thighs rotate all the way around. He's got double pin at the knee, and he can go up about that high. There is nothing at the boot, or the, uh, the calf. You can rotate at the ankle. You can hinge his ankle or his foot up, if I can get him straight up there we go about that far and down about that far and then finally actually not finally there is a hinge at the toe that seems to go down and not up so anyway and then finally there is the 
double finger joint hinge at the fingers. So that is Sentinel. He's just like he is just like the version one figure. So any negative side, uh, any negative from this figure will have carried over. The only difference is the heads are different and the feet are different. This one has more of the three toed foot and this one has a single toe at the foot. As I mentioned earlier about the only weapon he will hold is the scoped revolver. I'll start gearing him up here just a little bit so you can see. So you can put the uh, top finger there in the trigger hole and yeah, he can hold that really pretty good. You get to something like this, the compact submachine gun and it's just kind of ridiculous one-handed. So if you want him to hold that, well, you'll have to do it two-handed except one problem is he can't really reach with this one. Now, if we want to do the tactical shotgun, besides the fact he looks kind of silly holding this one, he doesn't hold this well at all. I think, I think uh, maybe I can't get his, can't quite get him to, <laughs> to stretch over like that. So he doesn't hold this one well at all. And you want to talk about harvesting tool? Well, forget it. This thing is heavy up on top, so heavy, he doesn't have enough fingers there and it's gonna fall right out. Not to be all doom and gloom, however, let's try a double-handed. So you can, <laughs> this is probably a very poor placement of it but you can get him to hold you can get him to hold it with two hands which is not a bad thing and then finally he holds these really pretty good you shove the the thumb in the hole that well provided your hand doesn't stick to it so you can hold the bottle and he can hold the rift to go really pretty good that's just some basic stuff we'll, just for fun we'll pop the wings on as well i think this is the way they go so overall, I mean, this is a fun figure. I mean, he does have the same difficulties that the version one figure has, and that is primarily the hindrance of the, of the design of the figure and the two finger hand. Now it may be that way in game, but at least with the weapon, see like this weapon, he can hold. I'm sure there's a couple other weapons that probably would have been better choices for him to hold, then you wouldn't feel like, well, he can't hold anything. I'm sure there's other weapons he can hold. So, you know, the difficulty holding accessories does carry over. But when it comes down to the bottom of it all, it's still a fun figure, and I can't help but like it. It's a cool design. I probably won't do a lot with it. I'll probably pose it and put it somewhere just to look at it. And, you know, at the end of the day, isn't that what a lot of us do with these action figures anyway? is just kind of put them there so we can enjoy them, just look at them and think, wow, these are really cool looking. Anyway, now it's your turn. What do you think about this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. On your way out, before you get out of here, check out my review of the Black Knight in the lower left-hand corner down there. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. If you enjoyed this video and this type of content, please share this video and share it everywhere. It helps the channel to grow because others might enjoy it too and they just can't seem to find the videos. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.